Alrighty, hey guys, just want to show you off before we actually start the part that I did do the level grinding I mentioned at the end of the last part. Got everyone up to level 25. They're, the stat bonuses are there as well. Did stash. Oh, that's good. So, uh, yeah, with that, uh, take it away, future me, because I haven't recorded the part yet. Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. The last part we got here to the airport and opened up this thing, which is one of the hardest bosses in the game. Mom Piranha. Uh, to start off with, uh, you cannot jump on this thing whatsoever. Well, you can, they'll just do one damage. And the color of the piranha plants actually determines what their weakness is. Uh, red ones absorb fire, so use lightning against them, and the blue ones, once they eventually show up, do the exact opposite. Uh, Mom Piranha has about 220 HP. Not that many moves, uh, this is one of the only ones and it damages her if you're good enough at it. However, the catch is... She heals herself at the end of every turn. Not completely, but enough. Generally around 10 to 20. Um, when she's red like the other Piranha plants, she's weak to electricity and uh, vice versa. Luckily, though, this is one of my best runs at her. Uh, she doesn't really summon the other piranhas back much, and thus it goes by much more quickly. Well, actually, when it comes to her healing, I'm not sure whether or not the healing is set, actually. She might do it at the end of every turn, or maybe she only does it when she feels like it. Maybe it's if there's only uh, other piranhas on screen, but I'm not sure. But either way, this is probably my best run of her ever, because... Usually this fight takes me around five minutes, and she's down. <laughs> Get 412 experience for beating her, and the spiny badge A, and I forget what that does. Eh, well, it's still there, but... <laughs> Not anymore. Best way to kill an enemy ever, just sit on it. <laughs> I applaud you, Luigi. Well done, Mario Brothers. Now we can welcome Princess Peach to our fair kingdom. Totally not the Thunderhand sound effect. Wow, only now am I realizing that I think that is the, uh, plane from Sunshine. Huh. I'm slow realizing that, but anyway, Bean Bean Castle Court Gardens. I have no idea where this place actually is. Hush, everyone. Princess Peach, representative of the Mushroom Kingdom, brings greens. Oh, God! Huh? Mario, Luigi, thank you so much for all you've done. I'm so relieved that the two of you are safe. How are you talking? Oh, 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 oh. oh terrible music, yes. Come now, don't be startled. You see, I must tell you, Princess Peach's voice was never stolen. What? I knew Kekletta was after the royal voice, so I beat them to the castle and warned the princess. And you couldn't have told us this before, why? Oh, memories, right guys? <laughs> this is the princess whose voice was stolen. What the? Birdo? And that is why the Beanstar reacted so strangely to her voice. Ugh. Run, men, run. That's a burp. As you can see, every card in the hand was truly better than theirs. <laughs> Mario, Luigi, I'm sorry to have caused you such trouble. When the pair of you came rushing to the castle, I intended to tell you the truth immediately, but Bowser beat you there. And I lost my chance to spill the beans, so to speak. But you defeated Cacolata nonetheless, and that is something to be congratulated for. By the way, there's no sign of what's left of the Bean Star. It apparently broke into four pieces, which seem to be lost. And so I am off yet again. I must sally forth to look for the pieces of the Bean Star. You two can relax here and enjoy some sightseeing in our kingdom with fair Princess Peach. Bye -bye. Alrighty, now we're supposed to head up to talk to Princess Peach and uh, Queen Bean, actually, but there's some stuff we want to do here in town first, although I could have waited until afterwards, mind you, but I don't care. 
first off, uh, here in the equipment shop, there's nothing really... They add, they have some new items, but uh, nothing in the actual fashion section is a pure upgrade for me. You have stuff that upgrades either defense or HP, or yeah, actually just defense. But as you might notice, it also lowers my HP, so it's kind of a win-lose situation. However, the badges have something I want. I uh, might you can see it down there at the very bottom, the bros badge. As you can see, that is a pure upgrade for both of the brothers, and also this is where you really get to see the fact that my stash is working wonders for us, because we have like 37 to 40 percent off a lot of items. I just realized I don't think I actually equipped that on Luigi. Well, I know what I'm doing right after this. I have to. Apparently after I stutter. <laughs> well, I've tried to do this part. But anyway, we also have a lot of beans now, so let's see what we can do. Uh, hoo-hoo beans, it'll be a while before we can do anything with them. Uh, but I think you need at least 35 of those throughout the entire game. Yeah, 35. However, there's one thing I can make, and that is a chuck -a chino Now, I should mention that I'm making one of every coffee throughout the game. But, I'm not going to actually use them as inventory items until the very end. Once again, I've come afar from me because of the scent of a new kind of bean juice. This is a highly improved model of the Poltergust 3000. It's the Super Poltergust 3001. Oh, it's not 9001. Sadness. If you got to know the improvements I've made, it can now be written like this. That is kind of a design flaw. And it's incredibly speedy. And apparently, considering you're going straight back and forth from the same line, it has amazing cornering as well. With this, now I can go anywhere I want with ease. Now then, might I have a quick sampling of this to drink? Mmm, my body and soul are melting into the syrupy sweetness. I'd better not drink more or else I too might become a ghost. Thanks for that sampling. Here's a little something I invented in my spare time. Maybe it'll aid you. And we get the Excite Spring. I think that's a reference to Excite Bike. Think is a keyword. What shall I invent next? I have no idea, sir. And this is me pointlessly looking at what else I need. Uh, note that uh, we have no Teehee Beans. So we'll be changing that soon. Although I think I have enough Woohoo Beans to... Uh, almost enough Woohoo Beans to pretty much last me the rest of the game. Anyway, that Excite Spring is actually kind of a unique item. Uh, when you hold, when you're on to the fence side, uh, you can actually hold the button to float when jumping. Uh, it doesn't count for anything in the uh, hammering, though. Uh, useful in certain bosses, not so much for the rest of the game, though. Anyway, you might remember a couple of the parts back. I talked to a guy accidentally in town that said something about five beanlets being lost in town. It's at this point that I decided to go after them because the reward is pretty worth it. Uh, there's three in this area. I actually missed one. It's in the very top left. So I'll show it off later. And that's the guy I need to talk to right there, actually. But trust me, this is much worth your time, because you get good healing items out of this. Uh, three of them are on roofs, but two of them aren't. So the two that aren't might trip you up, actually. And the last one, as I mentioned uh, earlier, is just at the top of this area, so let's go get this back to him, because I want my good item. By the way, I should mention the roofs in this town are disturbing looking. <laughs> and we got his beanlets back. And we got a golden mushroom, which is much worth your time, actually. It's a one-use item, but uh, for those of you familiar with Final Fantasy and various other games, it's essentially an elixir. It maxes out your, well, it re fully replenishes your HP and bros points. Very useful. Though it's a one-use item. And also they got new stuff here at the item shop, ma uh, namely Super Mushrooms and Super Nuts. And nuts in general, actually. In fact, they have everything super now. 
I recommend getting at least five Super Nuts because 40 HP to both bros as a recovery item is really good. Mind you, at this point you should have more than enough money because money is never a problem in this game unless you're speedrunning it. I'm not sure why you would speedrun it, but you can. But now let's go back and talk to Queen Bean and Princess Peach and there's like... They're in the exact same throne room they were in earlier. Oh, Master Mario, spot on timing. Mario, Luigi. I was just speaking with Queen Bean. She tells me there's a mushroom town here in Bean Bean Kingdom called Little Fungi Town. Do you know of it? Uh, not really. It's a town full of toads who have immigrated to this land. Since we've come all the way to this land, I wish to pay an official royal visit to the Little Fungi Town. That's acceptable in theory, but to reach the Fungi Town, you must go north through Tihi Valley. I can't remember the Queen's voice whatsoever. <laughs> Tihi Valley is filled with fire monsters. It, could be, it would be little to no, know. Very dangerous for Princess Peach. As the royal representative of the senior toads, I must vigorously oppose this idea. Passing through unknown lands filled with monsters is absolutely absurd. Why, the very idea. <coughs> and yet, I suppose if Mario and Luigi escorted you... Mario, Luigi, since we seem to have come to a consensus, won't you take me to Little Fungi Town? Oh, no. <laughs> Will that do Toad's worth? As if I have any say in the matter. Just be very, 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 very careful. I must begin preparations immediately. Mario, you and Luigi shall meet us up north at the entrance to Chiki Valley. And with that, please allow me to excuse myself, Queen Bean. Your princess is not only beautiful, but both wise and courageous as well. I'm severely impressed. Mario, Luigi, we have entrusted Princess Peach's safekeeping to the two of you. Leave the castle town and head northeast to reach Teehee Valley. And to the northeast we shall head. However, there's one small stop I want to make along the way. Because uh, we can actually get certain upgrades at this point, actually. Very, very certain upgrades by that, I mean. Anyway, now we have to head out the eastern exit of town and actually head to this area we've been to before. Also, what's really weird is, uh... Well, first off, uh, the little side thing I want to do is actually just pass this gate. Also, one weird thing I'd like to mention at this point, for some reason, I still haven't gotten the knockback bros advance. I'm not sure what's taking that so long. And I still don't know the exact cause. I think it's kills that allows you to uh, upgrade your special attacks. Anyway, we came over here for this actually little island, right? Well, not really much of an island, but that thing in between the little lakes, I went around just to make sure there wasn't anything over here. Because there is something very, 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 very important in here. A save block. Oh. But legitimately, it's the Hammer Brothers. Whoa. I was wondering who that might be. It's the good old Mario Brothers. How have you guys been doing? We moved out this way recently. This new place is bigger than the old one, which makes it easier for us to do our work. Sir, so those hammers we made you of striking mighty blows, well, how about we forge them and power them up for you? What do you say? It's free! Reforge our hammers? Why the hell not? And now they're actually going to completely upgrade our hammers, which I highly recommend you do because it's a power boost. It also allows you to break certain blocks, although I actually think this might be required. Actually, no, I think it is. I forget. I believe it is. But we got super hammers! Now we can actually break out rocks we couldn't break before. Namely, these gray blocks. Uh, the black ones we still cannot do anything about. And in here, we actually have something very awesome. A minigame. Pretty much, it's a test of luck. And what you get from this is completely luck-based. It doesn't matter which rock you break. All three will have the same reward in them. 
pretty much it's 200 coins until you get a reward. Uh, you can get 300 coins from this, but what we're here for is secret scroll number one. Which teaches us a new bros attack for battle, which I have never used before in my life. In fact, this is my first time getting the damn thing. And, and I have no idea what uh, attack it even is, so I got a first blind thing in the game. But with that, I'm going to need to end this off here. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And next time on Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, we're actually going to be heading to Tiki Valley now that we have our super hammers in tow. See you guys then.